when I was at school, all I wanted to do was be an artist. I wanted to go to France and drink lots of absinthe and get absolutely blotto and create amazing pieces of artwork. And I also practiced the piano because I thought I might be, you know, a budding pianist. But, um, you know, it, uh, it, it just didn't happen like that. So, you know, my my dad was a panel beater, my mum was a housewife, We I wasn't a trust fund baby and uh, there was just, you know, no opportunities when I was at school to, to dabble in the arts and so I went to university and got a BA, a Bachelor of Arts degree um, and I was very fortunate because when I went to university it got paid for, which I wish it was still paid for for young people today. But I, I, I used every single skerrick of that opportunity and went to every single lecture and every single tutorial over the three years. I, I never missed one. I was never sick enough to miss one of my classes. And I can't say I was the smartest cab on the rank. Um, I've never been uber smart at anything. But I, I just love learning. So I read and I read every day. Every day I read you know, some sort of book about something, all types of things, so many different things. And uh, I'm kind of, um, you know, at the stage of my life now where uh, all the things I did wish for actually did come true. Um, and I do live the life of an artist or in the creative industries or in the creative world. Um, and it's still live my best life doing whatever the hell I like. Um, and so, I just wanted to kind of have a chat to um, you about that and nothing more, nothing less. Um, and I have got, you know, because of all the reading I've done, I've got all these um, kind of ideas and uh, I'll never fulfill them because, you know, I just want to write music and, and write a few bits and pieces and maybe a, a book or two. But, uh, you know, some of these ideas, they're political ideas and then... I can't make them happen because I'm not a politician and I don't think I'd really want to be one either. But um, I just I just want to put them out there. Uh, I'm not going to save the world. I'm just a, you know, I'm just a middle-aged woman living in the suburbs of Auckland, New Zealand. Um, but fuck, I have a good time. Um, and yeah, I just want to share some of that with you. I don't actually know why I wanted to be an artist. I know why I wanted to be a musician, but I'll get into that story another day. But I don't know why I wanted to go to France and drink absinthe. But all I know is I wanted to do it. And when I went to my my Henderson High School, West Auckland, uh, I was actually told when we were you know going for our subjects that because my father was a panel beater and my mother was a housewife, uh, that I should really be doing typing and home economics. Yep, that's the day I was around. You know, this when I was this when I was a teenager. That was kind of the vibe. And so my mum went down to the school and said. No fucking way is my daughter doing that. She's going to do arts and languages. You're going to let her. So I did those. But, you know, um, I don't think she swore. Uh, the weird thing is that I was shit at languages, like really bad at them. So I didn't do them past year. Um, I was going to say third and fourth form, which is year nine and ten. So I didn't do them past that. But And to this day, I still don't like saying languages and I get really tongue-tied. Uh, maybe one day I'll go and live somewhere and I can immerse myself in the language and learn it. But um, yeah, I was I was crap at languages, but I was an okay artist, and uh, and and I did I was really lucky to have um, piano lessons, and oh actually I had a few singing lessons with Dame Sister Mary Leo, um, which was pretty bloody cool. It was thanks to my mum as well. Actually, not all of my ideas are political. I have kind of quite loopy weird esoteric ideas too and i have ideas that work you know i i run businesses i i make shit happen i i even i even released a book and an album you know i just just stuff and uh i don't believe that um i've got anything uh special or um you know, deserve anything more than anyone else, but um, I do believe, I do believe in like wishing and going out there and getting what you want. So you know, um, 
hopefully someone will find some of these things kind of interesting. It doesn't matter if they don't. And I've got to say, it's taken me a really long time to do this. And the part of the reason is because, you know, there's always a lot of imposter syndrome going on with most people in the world. And I'm just one of them. You think, oh, no, Jesus, it's probably, it's probably a load of bollocks and no one is interested. And that's okay. One person might be. And I guess if there's only one person that might be, then I'll be talking to them. And I guess I also have to put up with the fact that, um, you know, if you say something like, the sky is blue and it's a beautiful day, there's always going to be someone that goes, it's a horrible day and it's not blue at all. It's actually an amber colour today. Oh, ring, ring, moan, 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 moan. Oh, little island, little island. Um, and I get that too. Um, but I really don't give a shit about that anymore. I'm far too old. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, I'm a Generation Xer. Probably on the later side. No, the the earlier side of, of X. And uh, yeah, that kind of, that, that's probably, you know, where a lot of my thoughts come from. So, you know, um, anyway, 